Hey, what's up? So, it's all about FCPX to Logic Pro X for sound mix. Um, this is the topic of this clip. Yeah, this is a real project. That's my um, lens review I shot back in the days. Nice, nice lens, by the way. That was on the 70D and quite a few clips there. Uh, B-roll text and I recorded voice over directly inside of FCPX. And the 18 to 55 lens, it's all plastic. So I'm kind of having a lot of those voiceover clips and I have music tracks, a few, four, and I have some sound effects I did put in there. That's actually one of the nice things as well. You know, just go in the sound library and uh, look for like traffic, city traffic three, yeah, whatever. Just uh, putting this right there, a um, little bit, and there you go. Now I show you how you send this project to Logic Pro X quite interesting so um, one word uh, you should actually go ahead and uh, select all the different uh, clips and set the correct roles so in this case um, info and then effects actually the good thing is uh, when you use FCPEX for voiceover recording that actually sets it to dialogue and if you put in sounds right from that menu here it actually does set the roles to the right thing as well that's nice and then I have my music tracks that really helps um, in the end uh, logic to identify the tracks and arrange them that way so I show you that in a minute um, really helpful you should uh, use roles uh, right there really carefully and it will help you and logic in the end so that's it basically you might run into issues uh, when you like get a project from resolve um, via XML and stuff like that I had a project that I um, translated from Premiere we are resolved into FCPX and the XML export didn't work. Or I should say the import into Logic didn't work because the audio tracks, oh well, it's a little bit complex. The audio got mixed up, so it's, it was really difficult. Didn't work. So it kind of works only with native FCPX projects, so to speak. So there you go, um, just hit export XML and here's the first thing you have to keep in mind, metadata view, set that to audio. Usually it's like general I guess, but that will, uh, will be tricky. So if you select audio and actually use the roles um, and um, arranges the sequence that way. So that's good. Um, I tested this already, so let's let's do number four, just to be safe. And that's it. You should also um, export a reference movie. Uh, I will do that right away. I have actually an export file, an extra export setting just for that. Not a master file, because it actually is ProRes proxy just to have a small file in terms of file size and keep the encoding power so to speak a little bit on the low side so logic doesn't have to put too much effort into playing back a video so that's it you can use HQ and LT as well but anyway proxy seem to work much better and hard drive space you know so I do that. Yes, I replace that for for now. In the meantime, I will show you in Logic Pro X what the difference is. So this is how a 
imported sequence looks like if you don't use rolls and the metadata view audio it's all over the place you know you have like here's music the sound effects here's a voice over there uh, music you know it's all over the place it's kind of messed up um, you can make it work you can arrange them you know like you would but anyway but if you have the roles set up the right way and select metadata view audio it looks like that <laughs> it's all in a good order all the voiceovers all the original audio you have all the sound effects here and then you have all the music tracks and look at that the tracks actually are named the right way that will help quite a lot later on i show you that in a minute so this is nice so while uh, ftpx is still exporting i open up a new project in logic pro x new actually new from template i made a template um so there you go it's 48 kilohertz 25 frames per second since i'm i'm in germany all the rest you can select that and uh, change that up um audio interface you shouldn't use musical grid and there you go um don't close the good thing is when you save a preset you can actually save plugin settings and so on as well so there you go i have my usual master fader settings uh, quite nice and that's what's missing in fcpx but you can make use of logic prox to have that again so this is the main project and then I go ahead and import that XML. I just export it and it should work right away. Yes, of course, the music I put into FCPX was actually 441. So yeah, those three tracks I want to have in 48. Uh, you should most likely work always in 48 that's actually the standard for video production and if you can actually convert your mp3s before you use it in um, fcpx and even in premiere sometimes that actually works better so um, even if you have uh, like a missing file that is a result of uh, because i imported that from an old library uh, in fcpx uh, so i can locate that and i did that already in my test so i know where to find it and there you go so that actually shows you that actually works quite nicely in logic pro x if a file is missing that's no problem if you have the file right there so like before all nice and clean um or arranged the way my roles was uh, were set up uh, track naming all nice and 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 fine uh, and even if you uh, activate automation for a track let's see if it's um actually in there uh, volume as you can see that actually is the automation the volume changes i had in fcpx on the clip it translated that into a track automation and logic pro x so this is quite nice as well and there you go um for some reason it did import the video clip there because i think it's because it's uh, from this original sound so that can can be tricky so just uh, go to file movie remove movie and uh, yes logic is ready to import so to speak open that movie you just exported this one uh open the movie of course you can extract the audio track inside that movie for reference or you can make sure 
that everything is in sync just make sure you mute the track um, when you ch after you checked um, all that so this is nice and there you go um, you can actually go ahead and um, I select that and it's much more accurate so to speak to work on audio that way so this is nice so I can change selections and uh, you know arrange stuff a little bit better and then what I would do all the mixing so for example I select all the dialogue tracks um, there you go and make a submix send those to bus 10 in this case all the effects select those make a second submix track and all the music as well and so I only have like three main faders that I can work with or have to work with uh, let me do that No, there you go and so I can actually you know uh, uh, voice over sound effects and music you get the idea and then okay I could actually open up uh, presets I made before um, like sub interview whatever uh, but I actually just make something quick and dirty you know a little low cut a little low boost you know something like that and dynamics the usual suspect you know long release long attack quite a big ratio no off and there you go and you now music and for the effects as well and stuff like that it's much better to work track based and comes with a nice new lens cap it has no sunshade whatsoever so that might be an issue uh, but overall pretty pretty so um there you go that's it <laughs> that's just a basic overview uh, about what you can do you know you could go ahead and uh, select some specific areas and just uh, apply an equalizer to that track whatever and yeah that's basically it so now you just have to send it back so to speak to um, I save it real quick that's four send it back to Logic Pro X that's actually quite easy as well just select um, make sure you don't have any uh, track muted or whatever so that's that's good and just export um, XML and there you go I actually go in the logic no I, I go in the FCPX that's the four uh, select to FCPX. Um, yeah, you don't have to include video. Yeah, that's fine. Just export that, and then now it actually exports all the different tracks. You get like, in this case, um, what's it like? Twenty tracks, something like that. You get twenty separate audio files. That sounds a bit odd. But actually is quite nice so you can actually um, work around in FCPX if you have to change something you have like stems so to say and that's that's quite nice so there you go go back into FCPX import that XML you just save there you go
And now what you could do is basically go into that project and just drag and drop that compound clip. Mm, disable all those files here. Oh, sorry. Disable. And it's focus. There you go. Um, you actually could go ahead and um, you know change uh, all those. Uh, you could copy and paste those in another session. Whatever you you have, like all the single tracks. Um, right inside this compound clip. So this could actually be quite powerful and nice and to have that um, right there. So that's basically it. Um, that's my workflow coming from FCPX into Logic Pro X to make a nice mix that actually works and then get it back into FCPX. Uh, quite nice, quite smooth, works pretty good in my opinion and is much better than the artwork around using all those plugins on all those clips. Anyway, if you have any questions about that, about audio, about logic breaks, whatever, <laughs> let me know in the comments, um, send me a tweet, whatever, <laughs> even subscribe maybe. <laughs> Um, thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one, peace out.